talk. Our next guest comes with this disclaimer. Her opinions are her own and not necessarily representative of this television show. In other words, we are not responsible for anything that comes out of her mouth. Please help me welcome Kathy Griffin. Disclaimer. That is so fantastic because when I do my live shows, like at Caesar's Palace Thanksgiving Saturday, <laughs> as well as the Gibson Theater December 16th and 17th. But no, I have a disclaimer now that I put on like the posters or whatever, and I say um, adult content, which sounds kind of like porn. Um, <laughs> but I have a joke, which is um, don't bring the kids. Right. Not appropriate. Right. It's mommy and daddy time or daddy and daddy time. <laughs> If you're, the, if you're someone that carries a Bible with you everywhere you go, you probably shouldn't come. Right. <laughs> I'm just being fair. Right. But I love that you had a disclaimer. Well, we have a control room full of lawyers right now. Oh, they are like this with the button. Oh, yeah. Assigned just to you. Because you know I want to talk about this part and then these parts. And, but I won't. I'm going to really be good today. Oh, Wait, don't. These, these look, these look don't, good. Don't be I like good. like girls? I like them. Yeah. They look good. I, I'm on a whole new thing. They're, the cutlets are in there. Okay. Yeah, but the rest are real. And um, you can feel no, it. They they're feel real. Yeah, they're, yeah, no, they're, they're, they're real. Yeah, they're real. Oh, they're real. No, they're mushy. They're real. Yeah. How about yours? Yeah. No, they're, they're real too. Real. Yeah. Forget them. I'm on the necklace. The necklace is on the real. I'd like them to be up on oh, their own. Oh, that's a whole other. There's, sh there's levees and pulleys going on with the bra. There's like <laughs> exactly. wires. There's a exactly. team of invisible gay men behind me pulling them. <laughs> it's a lot of work. It's a lot of work. Is it true? Yeah. I don't know if you make a joke of this or if it's actually true. Excuse you've me. been Sorry. banned. Sorry. Get in the position, you've Sharon. Been banned hey, I'm from the view. I'm banned from. I'm currently banned from the View. Why the View? What happened with Elizabeth Hasselbeck? Yeah. Well. <laughs> Wait to see my special tonight. Um, so <laughs> she goes, she goes down pretty hard. I'm gonna be honest. She goes down pretty hard. Okay. Um, first of all, the name of the special on Bravo I would expect no is less. called Whores on Crutches. Like it? Like it? Thank you. I like it. I like Thank it. That's catchy. Yeah. Because you know what? I feel like I was actually leaving the show, and I saw these three girls that I thought were probably prostitutes, and one of them had a crutch, and I really respected her work ethic. You know what I mean? What? Yeah, her, right. exactly. It's a commitment issue. I will let a broken right. leg just like, right. I still have to get my John and pay right. the rent. She's Good for do her. Right, right. So I decided to name it Whores on Crutches because I saw some going to the elevator where I was playing. Anyway, so so I do. I open with a little story about Hasselbeck and um, true, you know, true story or oh yes, you can so go. What happened? Give us you, a true I don't story. Know what you can, you, you, Stop well, it. We get have, back to Elizabeth Hasselhoff yeah. or whatever her name is. I wish. When, so why? be a marriage made in heaven. David Hasselhoff and Elizabeth Hasselbeck. That would be great. So what happened was, you know, she has called me scum on the show. She has? Yes. Hell. Oh, yes. Oh, oh, my God, of course. Behind my back, of course. But anyway, um, but yeah, so she wanted to throw down with me. And we have different <laughs> political differences, which, which is fine. But the funny thing is, she was like sort of trying to catch me in like some smack I've talked about her, which I talk about all celebrities. But what I thought was funny is is that she tried to confront me on it, and that's kind of what I do. That's so, your thing. Yeah, she said, you know, what, a, what about the things you've said about people? Like she wanted to fight you? Yeah. I was going to ask you that. I was going to ask you Physically that. Physically or want... verbally? Well, she couldn't win either, but right. I'm just saying. <laughs> no, I mean, well, I don't physically fight, but I fight with them. It's like my mouth, my mouth throws the punches. Like, I wouldn't be good on Bad Girls Club, but I will verbally cut you. I will cut you verbally. <laughs> <laughs> and anyway, it was just funny 
funny because, like, I don't know, like one time I was co-hosting the show and there was literally a guy who had thrown battery acid on his wife's face and blinded her, and she had no problem with him, but I'm scum, and so she was just, you know, she was confronting me on, like, being trashy in my act, and I am trash. So what happened? What happened? And that's <laughs> what well, I, said, I, said, I said, what happened was after the commercial break, I turned to the audience and I actually said, you guys don't really want us to see us, you don't really want to see us fight, come on, Hasselbeck, shake my hand, and she wouldn't even shake my hand. <gasps> oh. I know, and so I said, well, be a gentleman, and then... <laughs> great celebrity mugshot, first of all. Paris's were very glamorous, and you know, she often does her hair to one side like this, and so her first mugshot was kind of like, hi, I'm Paris. <laughs> You're hot, hi. <laughs> then the second one happened where she actually had to serve the time, and it was kind of more like, hi, <laughs> hi. And then there was the most recent one in Vegas, which was just her, uh-oh. <laughs> airing tonight. We have to now, talk. Can I tell you, Paris Hilton invited me to her Halloween party, which I went to last Friday. How was it? Has a sense of humor about herself. Oh, I really great. appreciate that about her. Yeah. Good for her. Yeah. You was it a good party? party? Are you kidding me? It was nuts. It was crazy. Really? It was off the chain crazy. What was I doing? <laughs> what did you go house? as? I was a naughty sailor. Because when you go to Paris, you have to be a naughty something. Because every, <laughs> oh, everybody's course, dresses course. are up to here. Right, of and I had fishnets. I looked like a whore. It was great. <laughs> well, did you right, have so a crutch? Uh, I can use one. At the end of the night, I can use one. So can we talk about my A-list night? Yes, let's do it. Yes, Leah and I bumped into you a couple of weekends ago at the Carousel Ball of Hope, which is a big to-do. A-A-A-list. I've always heard about it my whole career. It benefits juvenile diabetes. Yes. And you had an interesting date. Okay, so I have been um, sort of courting these. I call them my divas. And I just worship Jane Fonda and women like that and Gloria Steinem and Bette Midler and Cher. And so I've been emailing Jane Fonda and I said, oh my gosh, for the first year I was invited to the carousel ball, but I don't have a date. I'm too insecure to go by myself. And she said, okay, then you'll come with me and my boyfriend, Richard. And I was in the back seat of the freaking Jane Fonda mobile. <laughs> <laughs> and I went to this event with... Fonda, and it's so funny because I'm so used to doing every piece of the red carpet, and I'm doing Good Morning Boise, but she's Jane Fonda, so she doesn't do the red carpet, so I'm chasing after her, and it was great. She had this gown on, and I said, who did the gown? And she said, oh, I don't know. I wore it when I hosted the Oscars 15 years ago. <laughs> Still fits into it. Oh, my God. And then here's the best part. She had this choker, and I was like, is it Neil Lane, H. Stern? And she goes, oh, I stole it from um, Monster in Law. <laughs> So the 15-year-old dress she still fit into, and then the stolen choker, and um, and then it was just great being with her. But I still felt, you know, like it, with A-listers, I still get self-conscious. But uh, I didn't see a picture of you with Jane Fonda. What no. happened? Uh, she doesn't play that. So I am, like, <laughs> posing for everybody's, like, phone camera, and she's just inside talking to Oscar winners. And, you know, you had to drag me off that red carpet. They had to drag me <laughs> with a rope. The show is starting, and you were up on your feet for yeah. JLo and Mark Anthony. That's right. That's and I got right. a shout out from JLo. I did get a shout out because I was representing. Yes, no, she I told her to be quiet. It was not representing. <laughs> she goes, Leah, sit down. Who? JLo said that. No, she, she did, did not no, say she sit did. down. You were, you were the she she did not say she sit did. down. Sharon, I wasn't there. I just made it up. Okay, but. <laughs> Settle this fight. Here's what Jennifer That's Lopez right. said. Jennifer Lopez said, Leah, where are you? She was That's looking right. for you. I was up like you. this. No, no, everybody was like, trying to be pumping. You were fist pumping. I wasn't fist pumping, but I was like, yeah, girl. Yeah, girl. Yeah. She was, Sharon. She was. She was. She was Presenting. Right, and then I look back and I saw you and I was I like, know. oh my God, I think I love her, but I don't know if I want to kick her ass. And then I just said. <laughs> but you added a word when you said I love you. What I said? Well, oh, my oh, favorite word. Blah. Um, <laughs> oh, excuse I me. Which I, I take as a high compliment. <laughs> Can you Thank just you. tell us what you did after that? No. Please. Yes. No. Yes. 
Yes. Oh, we went out to dinner. What? What's and that? then after dinner, tell us what happened. Oh, I my God. Home. What? You did, you did heroin? I might have had... <laughs> did, have did you do heroin? <laughs> no! I might have had a little drink. I might have had a little drink. The thing is, I don't drink a lot. Is that what you're talking about? Yeah, yeah and then, then what happened? You urinated yourself? I know. <laughs> she threw up. I might have thrown up. So <laughs> miss this. Turn Where's... into who? I did. I did. And by the way, Jennifer's holding my hair. Holding my hair. That's my good girlfriend. Up and I keep going. Wait, I'm off. scared. I'm scared. I'm scared. Jennifer Lopez held your hair. Held my hair while I what held kind of her daddy long leg. Like, I'm scared. I don't want to go. <laughs> All right, that's it. I'm playing Fonda, and Fonda's got to hold my hair. <laughs> we'll talk about more with Kathy Griffin when we come back. <laughs>